Carolinian. So with that, I want to turn it over to another professional North Carolinian, Tom Earnhardt, who is going to introduce the surprise. President Ross, Director Scherer, ladies and gentlemen, I am Tom Earnhardt, a humble gardener of wildflowers and a watcher of birds. Um, I am here to confess that I have been part of a conspiracy. Now, normally I conspire with the Peter Whites and Larry Earleys of the world to protect North Carolina's great biodiversity. But today, we are here to honor someone with a diverse bio. <laughs> My co-conspirators and I thought that honoring David would be easy. We first went to Holden Thorpe and asked him to grant a simple wish on David's behalf. Name the old well after David <laughs> Holden thought for a moment and said, as much as I would like to, I haven't got the power. We were stunned. Undaunted, the co-conspirators went to Tom Ross, and I know you remember this, Tom, and we asked him for a far more simple wish, changing only two, words of the, two letters of the alphabet from an E to a D so that the oldest symbol of UNC, the Davy Poplar, would forever be known as the David Poplar. <laughs> <laughs> President Ross looked very sad, wiped a tear from his eye, and said, I haven't got the power to grant your wish. We then threw caution to the wind and decided to shoot for the stars and petition the gods on North Carolina's Mount Olympus, Raleigh. <laughs> we crafted That's a prayer and beseech the gods to, court, to accord the highest of honors to Brother David. And bear with me while I read a few words from our prayer on his behalf. Every year, North Carolina recognizes writers and teachers with a variety of well-deserved rewards. One organization, however, is often responsible for making those writers and scholars look good, the University of North Carolina Press. The editors and professional staff of this extraordinary university press on South Boundary Street identify, edit, and publish the works of talented individuals from across North Carolina and the nation. We believe that no entity has done more to elicit and preserve the story of North Carolina, historical, literary, scientific, and cultural, than UNC Press. For 36 years, no one has exemplified the press more fully than its editor-in-chief, David Perry. David was a Moorhead scholar and graduated from UNC Chapel Hill in 1974. He began his affiliation with UNC Press in 1976 and became editor-in-chief in 1995. Through David's knowledge of North Carolina, his tenacity, and his people skills, he has nurtured and cajoled a generation of writers from the mountains to the Outer Banks. We know firsthand his ability to work with writers over coffee through writer's block <laughs> and many revision, while also knowing when to crack the whip. Throughout his tenure, he has worked simultaneously with dozens of writers, some well-established and others writing their first books. The list of authors includes a who's who of North Carolina, and this is just a sampling. Bland Simpson, William Powell, Hugh Morton, David Stick, George Ann Eubanks, Rob Christensen, Dirk Frankenberg, Tim Tyson, Michael McPhee, Norton Hadler, Catherine Byshear, John Shelton Reed, Holden Thorpe, Bill Neal, and many, many others. David's work with UNC Press over three decades has literally captured in print for all to see the very best of North Carolina. We concluded our prayer to the gods on North Carolina's Mount Olympus by saying that like Bill Clinton, David is also an artist with a saxophone. 
who loves jazz and has played in several ensembles across, across North Carolina. And finally, we save the best for last. David is one of the state's premier practitioners of the fine art of barbecuing and a master of grits cookery. In short, few people have had a more positive impact on the state of North Carolina and in the preservation of its heritage than David Perry. And so ended our prayer to the gods. Now, I'll bet you want to know if the gods listened to the prayer raised on David's behalf. And for the answer, it is my privilege to introduce my Davidson friend and president of UNC System, Tom Ross. <laughs> Very easy to follow Tom. <laughs> there were a couple of corrections, as normally is the case in an event like this. And the one where he said, I didn't have the power, that was a shock to me. <laughs> Go back and look at my agreement. <laughs> you probably wrote it. Isn't it? Um, when I first became president, one of my early visits was to this building. And, to try to learn more about the press. Um, and, you know, I met Kate and learned a lot about the press. I think I met David then, too. And, um, and that, you know, it was very helpful to me to see how important the press is to um, the university as a whole, not just this campus, but all of our campuses. Um, and then Kate gave us her news that she wanted to um, do something other than work full time all the time every minute with the press. Uh, and we decided that we might allow that after some discussion. Um, and so we got in the process of looking for what I think is, uh, is the perfect successor, um, wherever uh, yeah, here. And, and in that process, you know, we talked to a lot of people and we tried to figure out uh, what would be the right kind of leader going forward. And what I learned from that experience is the UNC Press is the best university press in America. Um, and it's because of uh, the quality of work that goes, goes on here, the staff um, and the work that David uh, has done for 34 years. It's also because of the authors that uh, we're privileged to, to work with with the press, uh, or they are, um, some of whom I see standing in the room. Uh, but it doesn't happen without um, someone who uh, is ultimately responsible for the editing of the books and the working with the authors and producing really quality products. Uh, and that's Ben David, and we're incredibly grateful to him for uh, his 34 years. I, I was trying to figure out what that meant in the publishing business, and since I know nothing about it, it took a little time. But um, David started as a typesetter, basically. Um, and leaves in a world of digital publishing. Uh, so you can imagine all that's happened in that span of time and the adjustments that he's made uh, one step after the next in order to continue the success of the press. And so for that, we're very grateful. Um, and because of your service to the state of North Carolina and to the press, um, it's, it is my very high honor um, on behalf of the governor of the state of North Carolina uh, to bestow upon you uh, a North Carolina citizen, uh, the highest honor uh, a governor can bestow. Uh, created in the 1960s, this award is given uh, to residents in recognition of proven service, extraordinary service, uh, to the state of North Carolina. And if I may, I would like to um, read to you um, and present to you uh, a certificate uh, that um, reads as follows. State of North Carolina, Beverly Eves Purdue Governor, reposing special <laughs> powers. Leave it here for the capital. <laughs> <laughs> Reposing special confidence in the integrity, learning, and zeal of David Perry, I do hereby present, or do present and confer the Order of the Longleaf Pine. With the rank of Ambassador Extraordinaire, privileged to enjoy full, fully all rights granted to members of this exalted order, among which 
is the special privilege to propose the following North Carolina toast in select company anywhere in the free world. <laughs> now, as a previous recipient, I'm able to offer this toast today uh, to uh, in honor of you uh, in this select company uh, in this place in the free world. <laughs> Here's to the land of the longleaf pine, the summer land where the sun does shine, where the weak grow strong and the strong grow great. Here's to down home, the old North State. David, congratulations.